Good day, everyone. This is Teacher Bell, and welcome to another learning opportunity here on Lessons Made Easy. Today, we will learn the different ways and how to find the circumference of a circle. We will also calculate the radius and diameter of a circle with a given circumference. And if you want to know more about other parts of a circle, you may check out the video link that I will leave in the end screen and in the description box below. So stick around and let's get started. In our previous lesson, we said that a circle is a plane figure where all points are the same distance from the center. The distance around the circle is called the circumference. From the center to any point on the circumference is what we call the radius. The line segment that passes through the center and whose endpoints lie on the circle is called the diameter. The diameter is twice or two times the radius. If the radius is 4 meters, double this number means the diameter is 8 meters. Therefore, the radius is only half of the diameter, or radius equals diameter divided by 2. But how do we calculate for the circumference? Do you have any idea? To calculate the circumference, we must at least have the measurement of either the radius or the diameter. Although we can estimate the circumference, it is approximately three times the diameter. This is just an estimation, but if we measure it very carefully, you'll find it's about 3.14 which is represented by the Greek symbol pi. In other words, circumference can be calculated by taking the value of pi times the diameter, or c equals pi d. In some cases, the given measurement is the radius. For this, we can use the formula 2 pi r. It is actually the same because this 2 r, or 2 times the radius, is derived from d, which is the diameter. To further understand this concept, let's try to answer a few exercises. Try to calculate the circumference of a circle with a diameter of 20 centimeters. Previously, we studied two ways to find the circumference. One is circumference equals pi d, and the other is circumference equals 2 pi r. Which one of these should you use? For this problem, it is reasonable to use c equals pi d, since the given measurement is the diameter. It is unwise if you use 2 pi r because using this formula means you have to divide the diameter by 2 to get the radius and then multiply by 2. This is just a waste of time, so let's stick with pi d. Circumference equals pi. Let's substitute the value of pi, which is 3.14, times the diameter, which is 20 centimeters. If we multiply 3.14 by 20, we get 62.8. So our circumference is 62.8 centimeters. By the way, I have created a video about multiplication. If you're interested, you can check the link in the description box. All right, then, let's proceed. How do you calculate the circumference when the given measurement is a radius of 12 centimeters? Given the radius, we can use the formula circumference equals 2 pi r. Just substitute the values. We have c equals 2 times the value of pi, which is 3.14, times the given radius of 12 cm. Because we have three given quantities, we have to multiply the first two numbers, which is very small. 2 times 3.14 would give us 6.28, and then multiply this number by 12. We get a product of 75.36. So the circumference is 75.36 centimeters. But how about if the circumference is already given? How do you calculate the diameter? Try this one. 
calculate the diameter of a circle with a circumference of 78.5 centimeters. To find the diameter, we can still use the formula C equals pi D. All we have to do is substitute the values. The circumference is 78.5 centimeters equals pi, which is 3.14, and keep D as it is. So, to find the diameter, we may transpose or move pi to the other side of the equation if you prefer to do so. But I guess it is much easier to understand if we keep the equation as it is. And do the simple steps. Since we only need the diameter, we might as well get rid of pi. But how do we do it? Just by dividing pi with the same value of 3.14, and we get 1, which we don't need actually to write or just simply cancel it. In short, what's left is the diameter. Because we divide 3.14 on one side of the equation, we must also do the same on the other side. So divide the circumference by 3.14, and whatever the quotient is, is our diameter. So divide uh, 78.5 by 3.14, we get a quotient of 25. So our diameter is 25 centimeters. You can check out in the description box the link to a video on how to divide whole numbers and decimals. Let's try another one. Calculate the radius of a circle with a circumference of 94.2 cm. In this problem, we can use the formula C equals 2 pi r and substitute the values. The circumference is 94.2 centimeters equals 2 pi r. Let's make the number much smaller by dividing both sides of the equation by 2. So what's left of the circumference is 47.1. And on the other side is pi, which is 3.14 and r. We need only the radius, so to get rid of pi is to divide the same number of 3.14. Just cancel, and what remains is the radius. The same with the circumference. Divide by 3.14, and whatever the quotient is, our radius. So we have 47.1 divided by 3.14, we get a quotient of 15. Our radius is 15 centimeters. And that's it. That's how you calculate the circumference radius, and diameter of a circle. Should you need to review, you can always check out this video from time to time.